I can't stand y'all be like that at the parties. What's up, my royal band? Welcome to another video. Okay, so this video is not going to be long at all, and I feel like I say that a lot but no this one's really not gonna be long this video is going to be on wisdom um big ups and shout out to uh timothy is it timothy moore on facebook my my facebook friend thank you for giving me an idea on making this video i always have so many ideas and so many things i want to do for different videos but this one is one i need to be had on wisdom because i feel myself capitalizing on other things and this is one that really need to be said so um we're going to dive right into it all right so um wisdom so i find myself googling different words and it's like a domino effect i'll start at one word google it find a definition go to another one go to another one go to another one so um yeah wisdom and then i try to find my my own grab my own definition for it so that I'm able to teach and help other people. So with wisdom, um, what I got back from it was having good judgment, being wise, and making appropriate decisions in regards to a particular situation at hand. So that's where I am with wisdom. I also have a Bible scripture I got from Proverbs 4, 7. 7 is my favorite number. It's also the number of completion. Yes, if y'all didn't know, study your Bible. Uh, Sabbath means seven. God rested on the Sabbath on the seventh day. So you should not work. You should not spend money. Um, what is it? You shouldn't work. You shouldn't spend money. And you should rest. That's what you should do on the Sabbath day. But um, yeah, okay. So Proverbs 4, 7. What I have is wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and all you're getting, get understanding. So again, what I took from that was just, you know, getting understanding from the certain situations that you go through at hand, you know, asking a Lord for that discernment ship, ask him you know what, what what was it that i was supposed to learn from this situation what was i supposed to grasp from this know it learn it and understand it because that is where your wisdom will come from when you are when you are um, you come into contact with another situation maybe similar and maybe something you know that you've even dealt with before you will know how to handle it because you have grabbed that understanding and you will have that wisdom on what to do next and how to do it. What to say, where to go, and just who to be, you know? Wisdom, having good judgment, being wise, um, making appropriate, making good decisions in regards to particular situations that you have at hand. Um, a lot of people, you know, we ask the Lord for discernment. We ask the Lord for understanding. We ask the Lord for knowledge, you know. And even though we gain those things, we don't make wise decisions. We're still naive in certain things that we face, you know. Don't be that person. I was once that person and it did not help me. I made some bad decisions in my in my 24, almost 25 years of living. And I am determined to never go down those paths again. Also, having King really matured me in a lot of ways, you know. Um, it was like crazy. Like people would ask me, well, well are you sure you want to have a baby? You sure you don't want to just go out and live your life first and go clubbing and do all these other things? But number one, clubbing and all that, that's never been me. Don't get me wrong. I like to dance. I like to go out. I like to have a good time. But you will not catch me all in the streets. You will not catch me doing all the things that I'm not supposed to be doing. I don't got time for that. That's not me. I'm just, yeah, I'm not there. I'm more focused on becoming a life coach. I'm more focused on being a motiva motivational speaker, motivational, um, you know, mentor, you know, just helping people. Like, that's what I feel like my calling is. A lot of us, you know, we don't know what our purpose is here is on earth but that's why you ask the lord for that wisdom knowledge and understanding because everybody has a purpose your journey is supposed to serve a purpose and once you fulfill that purpose you're out you know you're gone and you know we shouldn't fear death but 
that's how you know you've completed your journey you know so um that was proverbs 4 7 now read again wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and in all you're getting get understanding so understand such certain situations at hand grasp onto that wisdom and move on to making better decisions and also another scripture that i have is psalm 34 1 and 2 it says, I will thank the Lord at all times. And what I get from that is, I will thank the Lord at all times. Is again, in one of the videos I've previously posted, just being grateful. Showing that gratitude to the Lord for where you are, who you are, you know, um, who he called you to be, your purpose. Thank the Lord for that because he didn't put any of us here just to... I don't know just to just to just to be here like none of us are here just to be here we may have names that other people may have thousands of people may have our names but he made you a specific way he created you each and every one of us uniquely and he calls all of us by our name the enemy calls us by our sin but the Lord calls us by our name you guys know and understand that Psalm 34, 1 and 2. I will thank the Lord at all times. My lips will always praise him. I will find my glory in knowing the Lord. Let those who are hurting hear me and be joyful. Be joyful. Be joyful in everything that you're going through. And it's going to be hard because we are human. Okay? Once you go through something, we're crying. We're hurt. We don't understand. We don't We don't want to hear it. We, don't, we just want to seclude ourselves. No. Let those who are hurting hear me and be joyful. Be joyful, y'all. Smile through the pain. There's a lot of hurt that we're going to go through. We don't know when the Lord is going to come back. We don't know when Jesus is going to be here. So just do what you're supposed to do. Do what you're supposed to do. Be grateful. Be wise. And be joyful in all that you're going through, y'all. And I understand we are human. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Find your purpose. Remember who you're living for. Live for the Lord. Live for the Lord because I promise you there is a huge, there's a great reward, okay? Love yourself. Love your neighbor, you know. And if you really don't understand, like, you know, you're praying, you're praying, you're praying, you just still don't get it, you know. Reach out to the elders in your family. Reach out to the elders at your job, you know. People who really love you and people who really love the lord you'll hear certain things that there's that they say and you grasp to it an elder may say be blessed you don't hear younger people saying be, be blessed too often which i really wish we did but we don't be blessed you know um certain people may say that they don't know how to pray you saying thank you lord that's a prayer that's considered a prayer Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Thank you, Lord, for what I have. That's having gratitude, and that's also a form of praying. Asking the Lord for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's that's a form of praying. You know what I'm saying? Lord, I need to know what to do, how to do, where to go from here. That's praying. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think that prayer is this long and drawn out, you know, speech or, or asking the Lord for certain things, and that's not the case. You can get on your knees and you can pray. Also in the Bible, if I'm not mistaken, um, oh, give me one second, y'all. Okay, John 14, 13. And I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son, you guys. Also, it was another scripture, um, I think I lost it, um, that when you pray, Go into your room and whatever you pray in secret, the Lord will give to you in public. He will He will have it manifest. He will make it manifest for you. It's all about having that one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. Like, it's very important. It's imperative, y'all. It's imperative. I cannot stress it enough. I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, sometimes the Lord will knock you down. The Lord will knock you down. He will have it so you have to start all over again. But that's fine. Because no one wins a race the first time around. There's there's more than one lapse in every race. In every race. So just keep going, y'all. Keep going. 
just praise the Lord. Ask him for the wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Reach out to your moms. If you don't have a mom, I really am sorry to hear that. Reach out to your auntie. Uh, if you have a homeboy who has a mom, reach out to her. Uh, reach out to... I don't know counselors you know maybe even seek a therapist you know a lot of people think that you're weak because you have a therapist and that's not true the mental health mental health is where the wealth is if you want to get technical you know what I'm saying being on your P's and Q's and understanding how to think how to not be naive you know just doing what you're supposed to do you know like y'all just keep pushing keep pushing stay on top you know don't limit yourself help those that's around you you know yes be wise be caring you know be forgiving you know the lord he sits high and he watches down low nothing goes unnoticed nothing goes unnoticed y'all so i'm gonna wrap up this short video of course y'all i will be back with more videos just stay tuned i thank you guys again so much for the support my views are steady going up and i appreciate that you don't even have to watch this video y'all you don't even have to encourage other people to watch it i'm just asking you to share and support that's all you have to do just share the video it'll reach somebody who wants to see it it'll reach somebody and help somebody somewhere but if this is not for you bless you have a great one thank you for seeing this portion but yes y'all wisdom knowledge and understanding y'all ask the lord to just be present in your life he's not just going to throw himself into you into your life he, he wants us to reach out to him he wants us to reach out to him and he gives us that free will so if i was you i would reach out i would reach out and don't make yourself suffer more than what you have to like don't do that but the lord he's there and it's imperative that you reach out to him and that you know who he is so i love you guys thank you for watching um like comment subscribe you're more than welcome but i'm trying to get out of saying that i would just like for you guys just to share the video thank you love you guys see you in the next video I've been